On this episode of In the Shop with Emily, Roxy gets a clutch. Roxy is up on the lift for some long overdue attention. I've been working with a company called Manic Clutches out of Australia. I met one of their US reps at SEMA and was super impressed. And the clutches came highly recommended, so I started doing a bunch of research. Turns out, they're big clutches with the Holden guys that are in performance and building their cars for the track and the street. And so I started working on working with the company. I have a clutch. I am very excited about it. It is super badass. It came in this very sexy box. You'll see. And it's, it's a pretty fancy deal. Raise your hands if you love ratchet wrenches. It is no coincidence that my hands are in the air. All right, we've got our exhaust out and it's time to pull the drive shaft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> What's this thing called again? <laughs> carrier bearing? Yeah, that's it. Let's take carrier bearing bolts out. Carrier bearing bracket. Carrier bearing holder upper. <laughs> Technical stuff, you know. As you can tell, it's nighttime. I think I have to sleep in so this. Just a little bit loopy. Time to pull some transmission bolts out of this thing. I've got the cross member in still. I'm going to leave my top bolts in. What I do, since I don't have a badass floor jack for the transmission for the lift, I'm going to put my floor transmission jack, my little one, on a table, like I did in the episode with the Impala, and um, drop my transmission onto the table and roll it out like that. So. I'll take my bottom bolts out and then lower the car down on the trans jack on the table and take the top bolts out. That's the plan. I think I'll loosen it. Didn't I say I'm taking these out? Yeah.
to a gap. So I think we're ready. I think we are. Want me to go up a little bit? No, I don't think. Okay. I think we just need to ease back. And we all the way back. We want to make sure it's stable on the jack before we slide it all the way out. It's a little bit wonky. Yeah, go ahead and go up a little bit. There it is. Tilt it back a little bit. Yeah, the, the tilt was just wrong. Yeah, that's good. Let's see. Beautiful. Looks like we just rolled it out. Yep. Sweet. Okay, so if it appears that the wires are clear, then... Lift the car up? Yeah. So this clutch is a modular clutch, which I did research on what that meant because um, when this clutch was suggested to me, I was like, yeah, that sounds badass. I want one. And then I started doing research and I was like, modular, that sounds tough. I need one of those. Um, but I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> so um, it all kind of clicked when we were putting our Christmas tree up this year because the box said modular Christmas tree. And I'm like, yeah, it comes in pieces you put it together yourself so <laughs> that's essentially what it means is that it comes in pieces and you build it yourself and in some applications it's customizable but yeah i'm pretty excited about it i'm ready to see this thing come together uh, and stay together So Mantic Clutch has a YouTube channel where they have an install video, which I watched probably four times. And the last two were because I like the guy's accent. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's made in Australia, of course. Um, the assembly is quite cool the way it works. The bolts push in from the back side of the flywheel. I just already put my bolts in because they fit tight. And so I hammered them in, tapped them each in, to um, fit tightly in this channel to keep the bolts from turning. So then they act as studs, which you build your clutch onto. So it's pretty sweet. I'm ready to put it up. Put the bolts that are locked tight on each of my bolts. goes 
Okay, our flywheel is tight and we've got our bolt sticking out like studs, which is super cool. These are drive blocks. They slide on and sit in this channel. And then we build our clutch around the drive block. Pretty sweet. First disc goes on. This one says flywheel side. Right here. That will go against the flywheel. Set it on here. And then hold it here. I've got my tool here to align it all once I get them layered on. Your immediate plate goes in with the spring clips and it goes right over through the channels of the drive blocks. Like that. We've got flex. Sweet. Pressure plate side. Put this on here to keep them steady and then I'll adjust them. And now for the beautiful pressure plate cover assembly. Slides right onto the bolt. Suggest that you push on it so that you, you're sure that it has spring to it, ensuring everything is aligned properly. So we've got spring. I'm going to start a couple of these nuts without my lock washers just to kind of get this pressed down because I hardly have room on these threads to get my lock washers down. One of the threads to get the nut started, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll take them out and put my washers on them. I'm going to be sure that my center line where my input shaft goes in is as much centered as I possibly can have it while I tighten. Looks pretty sweet. 